Hi everybody, my name is Robert Morgan. We're continuing the history of uh, Church of Egypt and the Egyptian Coptic people. Up to the second century AD, after uh, the inception of Christianity in, uh, in Egypt, with, uh, under St. Mark and the establishment of the Church of Egypt under St. Mark. The first few centuries really there's not that much going on in terms of specific uh, incidents or specific uh, details. Apart from that Christianity is spreading in Egypt, it's spreading in uh, not just the Egyptians in specific, but also to uh, the pagan Greeks. Well, all of the Egyptians were pagans, but uh, mostly the Greeks, the Romans, and populations carried on with their, uh, uh, like with the, worshiping their gods. And uh, most of the, um, the Egyptian population started to adopt Christianity. The, the Christian population increased in number. Also among Jews, a lot of the Jewish population that was in uh, Egypt, in Alexandria, adopted the Christian religion, the new religion. The Roman Empire started seeing the Christians as a threat um, because uh, basically uh, Romans perceived the Egyptians as a wealthy population, well-educated, and they had all the means of uh, seceding from the empire. The only thing that they lacked a unifying factor. So to them, to have a, a, a single religion uh, as Christianity that unified the Egyptians was a major threat to them. So they started to, this was the cause of the persecution. So long that the Egyptian population remained uh, worshiping several gods, although they had um, as several of the emperor noticed that they had mutual respect for each other uh, and for the other religions, but that was not a unifying factor. They remained divided according to religion. But when they started having a similar religion and they, were, they had other means of unifying the population, this is when uh, Christianity posed a threat to the Roman Empire and hence the, the Roman um, emperor, like for example Hadrian Caesar at um, 138 AD started thinking, okay, we should do something about the Christian population and the persecution increased. There was really no declared um, persecution or organized persecution at the time. It was, um, it, it increased, it uh, exacerbated and decreased. And uh, at times it, there was no persecution. Uh, where churches spread and Christianity spread further among the population and the Christians increased in number. And at other times, um, the persecution increased and uh, there was persecution for the people and for the churches and they had to go underground and worship in caves and mountains and they ran away from the cities and people were basically beaten on the streets, uh, killed, uh, thrown in jail and uh, widely persecuted. During the year 138, uh, the theological school in Alexandria started. Uh, it was also the brainchild of Saint Mark before his uh, martyrdom in 68 AD to start a theological school for, Christian, for Christians and for Christianity in uh, Alexandria. Uh, Alexandria also housed one of the biggest philosophical schools, the Greek school, which is well known throughout the, modern, the, the ancient world. And that uh, also housed a lot of sciences, adopted a lot of scientists and helped them developed their uh, science and their um, technologies at the time. The theological school started uh, around that time and it was less attractive than the Greek school, but it took hold and continued and it helped a lot spread Christianity in, uh, in Egypt and in Northern Africa. Apart from uh, the theological part, apart from Christianity, it also was um, adopted all the, the, the regular sciences from astronomy to physics to uh, chemistry to sciences to everything. It, uh, they created the Library of Alexandria at the time and it, they had tons of manuscripts and tons of uh, books uh, that were uh, transcribed and copied and um, spread among the people. There was a lot of sciences that was housed in this library. 
uh, it was a beacon of uh, intellect and knowledge to all the, the, the old world, uh, as is well known uh, throughout history, until the, the Arab invasion of Egypt, uh, where this uh, library was destroyed and burned down, and um, all these sciences were lost to humanity. There is not much uh, mention of a lot of uh, strife in the, f in the second century apart from the, um, the spread of Christianity and the, the fighting of the empire or the recognition of the empire for Christians at the time. A lot of popes came and uh, to mention just uh, Pope uh, Agrippus, he was the 10th pope, uh, Pope Julian, the 11th pope of Alexandria. A few Caesars came and went, but there was no uh, great uh, incidents or uh, things happening at the time. Uh, there was some revolutions uh, against the, um, the empire, but nothing that uh, like designated as a huge up, uh, upheaval in Egypt. Egypt became very rich in um, its faith and a lot of saints uh, like were well known uh, as early as the late 2nd century and 3rd century. To mention uh, one of the, the very oldest saints is Saint uh, Marcorius or uh, Philopatir. Um, during the time of Emperor Decius, he um, he was one of the officers that actually helped him uh, win uh, war against the Berbers because he was afraid uh, that their numbers were so great and uh, uh, his legions were uh, way fewer than them. Saint Marcorius was visited by um, Archangel Michael and given uh, in his uh, dream, according to the, the story, a sword of fire or a very shiny sword that uh, he used to uh, kill the, the enemies. And uh, St. Marcorius actually strengthened the, the emperor and told him, don't be afraid, we'll win this war, which they actually did. And when they were, afterward, they were victorious, Emperor Decius decided, okay, let's um, uh, give thanks to our gods. And um, then St. Marcorius uh, like, was found out that he was a Christian and he refused like worship the gods of the emperor and he was uh, first he was asked to, to renounce his uh, Christianity and uh, revert back to paganism which he refused outright. And the emperor uh, was of course infuriated and he tried to persuade him several times and at the end he, um, he put him to death. And uh, he became, of course, uh, our famous uh, Saint, uh, Saint Marcorius Philopatir, uh, since the second uh, century. The Decius Caesar at, uh, from 249 uh, began actually a very uh, well-organized persecution against the Christians uh, of Egypt. Um, the Jews in Egypt uh, became uh, very well known to start problems for the Christians because they, now they were recognized as a separate religion apart from the Jewish religion. They uh, took uh, every chance to bring about persecution on the Christians. To, they wanted to get rid of them by any means. A lot of uh, or some of the following emperors really did not care about the Christians of Egypt and they let them be. So persecution went on and off in, in waves, uh, not persistent. So that actually gave a chance for, the, for the, the church to, at times, to be able to flourish and to increase in number.